Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning to our families and our visitors. Thank you very, very much for being here at our last assembly of 2018-2019. It's a wonderful way to finish the year with a spring Maypole assembly that will include a variety of activities and performances. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Roberts in advance because he told me in December that he ordered this weather and it came in just in time. So thank you, Mr. Roberts, for ordering this beautiful day. Thank you. We could have had May showers and instead of May flowers and everything else, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. It may get a little warm in here. We apologize ahead of time. We will open some doors and we'll stand by the doors. Um, we're going to try to get a cross breeze going somehow. If we have not met, I am Gary Mastrangelo, the principal of Highview School. Everyone knows me as... Thank you. As Mr. M. Much more... It's easier to pronounce than Mr. Angelo. But I would like to welcome all of you here to our assembly. As I said, we have many, many performances. Um, we like to start at 10 o'clock. They usually, our assemblies usually end around 10.50, 10.55. This one is scheduled to end around 7.30 p.m. So if you don't have plans for later, we're ordering lunch, it'll be here soon. Uh, we want to thank you for being here. We ask that you, if you're sitting in a, in a big boy and girl chair, you sit up straight and sit back and relax. If you're sitting on the floor crisscross applesauce, whether you're in second grade, third grade, or high school, as we have some Woodlands High School students here who have come back to see you perform today, boys and girls, and basically to say thank you to Mr. Roberts. Thank you very, very much for being here. We have a lot of performances. If you have a program, you can check your program. And you can see that our very first presentation today, performance, is a ballet presentation. So for those of you who don't know, we have an after-school program. Part of the after-school program is ballet. We are trying to recruit boys, and for the second consecutive year, we have just girls. Boys, I do want to let you know, if you Google many, many, many football players, you will see that they take ballet during the off-season to stay, to stay limber and stretch and agile because no one can jump as high as they do without stretching out those legs, and ballet does it. So we'd like to ask that all of you give our ballerinas a very, very special high round of applause as our ballerinas enter the stage.
Let's hear it for the ballerinas. Who needs the nutcracker? We'd like to thank Miss Mamie Duncan Gibbs from the New Professional Theater, who worked with the girls all school year long. Thank you, Mamie, very much. There are a couple more ballet sessions before the end of the year. So thank you to the parents who have signed your children up, and you see the girls did an excellent job. And second grade boys, if we have this program again next year, we'd love to see some third graders, and we'll talk to the first grade boys as well. Let's get some boys in that program. All right. So our next performance is now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, will be from our violins and our cellos, and I'm going to turn it over to the instructors. So, here we are. Hello, my name is Ms. Sylvia Grenzi, and this is Dr. Diana Golden. We are the new violin and cello teachers here. Uh, we started this year in March and uh, we're very happy to be part of your program and thank you very, very much for inviting us to perform for your Maypole ceremony. Uh, we are professional musicians and we teach also at the Music Conservatory of Westchester and uh, we are performing two duets and uh, the first duet the first duet is the flower duet, and this is fitting for uh, May and Maypole Day. Um, this is from an opera called Lock May, and in the opera, two women go to swim in the river, and this is a song about all the beautiful flowers they see along the sides of the river. Um, next, we're going to perform a duet called A Gigue, and this is from about 290 years ago, so it's from before George Washington was born. Um, and A Gigue is a fast folk dance, kind of like an Irish jig. Thank you. 
let's hear it for Miss Sylvie and Dr. Golden. So uh, we will again offer lessons to third graders in the fall and to any students entering the Bailey School as well. So if you think you might want to do violin or cello, uh, please let your parents know. Have a great summer. Let's hear it again. So for those of you who signed your children up and gave permission for them to play the violin or the cello, you, you do know that about halfway through the year, um, we brought in the two instructors and there was a little bit of a schedule change and um, so they felt that the kids are moving along and will hopefully be able to perform um, next year and they will perform just like that, they were told. So be prepared, in one year they will practice at home and then they will sound just like that. So Lincoln Center has nothing on us, I can tell you that right now. The ballerinas, the cellists, the violinists, and as we prepare for this big tall thing with streamers hanging off it and flowers, I'm told, boys and girls, that's a what? Maypole! That's why we're here. That is a maypole. And we are about to see and hear some wonderful music and some really great dancing. And, and, and the maypole is going to turn into some really great things. So while we prepare, I do want to... Uh, we're, we're all about shout-outs in this building, and I would like to give some shout-outs. Mr. Parker, thank you very much for being here and recording our Maypole. We hear people all the time say, we saw it on TV, we saw it on TV, we watched it on a loop for a couple of weeks. Mr. Parker's the reason why, so thank you very, very much. Folks, we talked about our high school students who came back to visit, and we are so proud of you, and we thank you for being here. Um, they didn't come alone. They actually came with their, uh, their teachers, and actually the teachers from R.J. Bailey as well. So uh, we have Ms. Danielle Weinberg and Mr. Bob Lance from R.J. Bailey over to stage left. Thank you so much for being here. And from the middle high school, we have Mr. Kennedy, Ms. Johnson, and Mr. Denniston. Thank you all so for being here. We even have people from Central Office here. Mr. Falcone, our director of facilities, was walking around and making sure the building was safe and the doors were closing and the windows were opening. And he said, I want to stay and watch the Maypole. So thank you, Mr. Falcone, for being here. And also our director of the Advanced Learning Program and the Arts. Ms. Catherine Adore is here as well. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you remember from years past and, and, and parents and family members, um, Ms. Miriam Burnaby, who was the Director of the Arts and, and Special Services, Special Program, she is also here. Ms. Burnaby, thank you for coming back. Can you see? Just about ready to get set up. So at this time, maybe I will also say a, a, a great big thanks and, and an awful lot of gratitude to Mrs. Roberts and members of Mr. Roberts' family. Please wave to let everyone know you're here. Thank you all very, very much for being here at this Spring Maple. They told me they were just walking, shopping on Central Avenue and decided they wanted to come in and see an assembly. It just so happened it was the main hall and it kind of worked out nicely. So thanks so much for being here. All set? All right. As you heard, as we were just about to get started, we had some soloists who were singing at the microphone. They were, they were prepping. They're about to come back to the microphone we have a traditional English folk song called May Song. The soloists are Elizabeth Wooten, Kristen Pearson, Evan Locke from Mrs. Delacava and Mrs. Bassiano's second grade class. 
and the drums and dance selection is from Ghana, and that will be performed by Ms. Peterson's second grade class. Let's hear it for everyone. In northern Ghana, there were two tribes that were that had a dispute for many years. After uh, the dispute was resolved, they decided to create a peace together, and this is the peace. This is called Sisala, and the other title is Fire. If you know this, please sing along.
let's hear it again for the soloists from Mrs. Della Cava and Mrs. Bastiano's class and to Miss Peterson's class. We're doing a bang up job on the drums. I apologize, sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this one's for you. I'm gonna try this again. Last Thursday we had a talent show, and this is called a filler because we're waiting for this. We had a talent show last week, and it didn't get the, the results I thought it was going to get, so here we go. Boys and girls, you keep it quiet. You know the answer. What did the zero say to the eight? Nice belt. No? So when a zero is sitting there and it puts on a belt, it becomes an eight. Okay. That one will go away. We won't use that one anymore. Because when you have to explain a joke, it is no longer funny. That will go into the archives. We won't use it anymore. Not even in two years with a whole new batch of kids. We won't do it. I promise. Show of hands. How many liked it? I did! All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We got four. There's 1,700 people here, and I got four hands in life, so thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Folks, if you haven't noticed, it does take some preparation to set up a maypole. Our first group, or groups, that are coming up to dance we have Miss Wasserman's class, Miss Martin's class, and Miss Sanicandro's class. Two second grades and a third grade. So let's give a big round of applause to our first three classes who will be performing today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready? Yeah. Boys and girls, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, performers, are you ready? Yeah. All right. This is a basic circling figure. The children are going to circle around the maypole. They're going to dress the maypole. And we're going to create a candy cane pattern. Two, 
is the spider's web. The music is from the year 1802. It's called the Duke of Kent's Waltz and it's a waltz with ribbons. So as they're getting ready, we will prepare for, they're going to prepare for the spider's web. Ladies and gentlemen, the spider's web. Also called the tent or the diamond. Boys and girls, you know what to do. Turn around, please. We're going to undo it and then do it again. And if you're ready, so am I. Let's wait for the music. Get ready. Face your partner. 
begin. Walk out in your lane. Twos walk to the black circle. Ones, we're walking counterclockwise and we're off. Ready, begin. 
let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, for this group. Ladies and gentlemen, the Barber Pole. We're gonna take it home, guys. Twos, turn in the other direction. Twos, we're walking home and walk. One, two, three, and turn. Watch your lane. Number ones come out in your lane. Number twos. Come in. Ones, we're walking clockwise. Ready? One, two, three, and turn. And skipping, skip, and skip, and skip, and skip, here, and here, and here, and walk. Excellent. Are we all set? Come out. In your lane. Ones go in. Stay on that black circle. Turn around. Twos taking us home and walk. One, two, three, and turn. High step and skip. When you get home, stop. When you get home, stop. And stop right there. Ones, come out into your lane and we have done it. Well done. Okay, boys and girls, hold on to those ribbons because we have another class coming. Our last dance on the Maple 2019 will be a plating figure, P-L-A-I-T-I-N-G. This is a braiding figure. We're going to braid the Maple and we're going to leave the Maple braided. Combination of three classes will now, but Mrs. Woodward's classes, uh, her entire class is performing along with friends, will braid the Maple for 2019. We're off. One's out. And everybody, let's clap for them. One's in. Franklin, come over here. Franklin, come here.
Come on, guys, let's hear it for Melanie. Thank <laughs> you. 
Salvador. So now, recorder, um, third grade recorders, please take out your recorders without blowing them. I'd like to speak briefly about the recorder. Um, kindergarten to third grade, in terms of music education is mostly experimental. I really do not start to teach how to read music until January, uh, when, the, when the third graders are in third grade and in general. We are presently learning three notes. They are learning to read three notes, B, A, and G. By the end of the year, if we can learn two other notes, D and E, then they have learned how to read a pentatonic scale. But right now, it's B, A, and G. And even at this level, the children um, need to understand that they can be a professional at any level. Not to overblow, to use the right aperture. And that's what I'm trying to instill. Uh, I had the children listen and watch a video from of Canadian musicians, uh, recorder players, not much older than they were, they are now. And to give them a little vision, and that's why I was so happy when the violin and cello teacher was here, to give everybody a vision of what the instrument can do. At B, A, and G, you're not going to be able to do what those children can do, but you can do something, and this is what we can do. Uh, these two pieces were composed by my teacher. I was very privileged to be one of the best teachers in the United States of America. This is Judith Thomas. And uh, these pieces were composed by her and her son Christopher, who has won an Emmy Award in California. So, uh, two pieces. What's in your bag? Oh, how I love to play the recorder.
And as they're dancing, let's cheer these guys on. gentlemen thank you very 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 much for coming we are going to end with bachata vamos a la república dominicana vamos con tu y
Let's hear it for the third grade reporters. And that wonderful dance with Mr. Roberts and his mom. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I just need to let you know, Mr. Roberts and I, Mr. Roberts has been here longer than me. Um, this is my 13th year. He's been here almost twice as much as that, twice as long. Um, and I don't know Mr. Roberts to not always tell the truth today. That was one time. He said, our last performance, he was wrong. <laughs> High schoolers, did you enjoy yourselves and did it bring back memories? Yeah. Good. Thank you very much for being here. I need to let you know that in my first year here, there was a third grader who had a, a keen interest in the arts. And I, 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 I'm going to take some poetic license and say it's all because of Mr. Roberts. Um, there is someone who I don't know if you noticed who kind of snuck in while the dance was going on. He's sitting behind the piano. He'll stand up, stand up later after his presentation, his performance. But former third grader Julius Rodriguez, who used to be here at Highview School, um, went on to Juilliard. He went on to, I know I'm going to ruin it, but so many places in Europe I hear Germany and, and, and a complete, just yell them out. Australia, Japan, the Netherlands, Russia, and Greenberg. to thank Miss Flowers, one of our teaching assistants, for bringing Julius in today. Miss Flowers, thank you very much. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, sit up, and relax, and let's listen to Mr. Julius Rodriguez.
start by saying that today is our last assembly of the year. I don't know if you realize, but today is Mr. Roberts' last assembly at Highview School. Mr. Roberts will be retiring in 25 days. So if we can give Mr. Roberts one more Highview round of applause. Second, 2019. May the next journey in your life be as sweet and beautiful as the music you have shared with the children at Highview School for the past 23 years. Mr. Roberts, we are going to miss you. We will not be able to fill your shoes. We have to, we have to go out and find another pair of shoes. You are one of a kind. I know the likes of the Julius Rodriguez's and the students who are here and everyone who has passed through the doors at Highview School has taken something away from your classes, your lessons, your performances, your assemblies, and they have you to thank for that. And I know those are lifelong memories. Thank you for all you've done for our students over the last two years. Thank you very much. Washington, uh, Simply put, uh, some of my most cherished memories will be of teaching, uh, music education, the arts uh, at Highview School uh, with a wonderful group of children. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the last 23 years. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. One last time, let's hear it for Mr. Roberts. our assembly, the teachers will escort their students back to their classes. I would ask that you play us out with something that I'm sure will be memorable. Julius Rodriguez. Teachers, please bring your students back to class as Julius plays. I want to thank all of you for coming, all of your friends, family, and relatives. 